Hey everyone, so today I want to do my March favorites. I don't have that many things, but I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been loving this month. And I guess I'll start off with um, a face thing. I finally got a Clarisonic about a month or so ago. I was supposed to get it for Christmas, but where we ordered it from it was on back order, some kind of weird thing. So I ended up getting it from Sephora with the VIB 20% off. And I really like it. I don't find it to be like magical, like everybody was saying. So everybody was like, oh, the first time I use it and my skin's like amazing now. I don't find that to be true, but I did have some like excess dryness and stuff from the winter and this helped with it a lot. So I did get a new head for it recently. I haven't used it yet. So we'll see how that works out, but I do like the Clarisonic Mia. Yeah, so I thought I would include that. I want to do a skincare video too, just like what I use every day. I finally have like a regimen down of the things that I use, so I might do that soon. Next, the Garnier BB Cream, the light to medium. I think I've mentioned this before, and I will do a review on this, I promise. And I always see it, it's like $12 originally but I always see it at CVS for 10 and it's probably cheaper at Walmart too. So I would suggest to try this. The light medium, it does have a pretty uh, dark color payoff and you don't need a lot of this at all. Like, that's what it looks like, but then like look at how that blends. So, just to give you an idea. It sort of makes my skin like a shade darker, which I don't mind, but you definitely have to bring it down all the way to your neck, and I have to do something else with my face, which brings me to my next favorite, or something that I've been doing, is combining two concealers for my under eye. So I, what I've been using for under eye concealer, which clearly I've way hit pan on, I need to buy another one, is Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Ivory. Um, this is really, really light. And when I use the Garnier BB Cream, I feel like it's too light for my skin. And definitely in the summer it's going to be. Not that I get dark or anything, because I don't. But I just mix it with my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Medium Beige Light. And so I put this on the back of my hand, put this on my finger, and then I mix it like that. I do get a little creasing throughout the day because this is obviously a liquid and this is, you know, cream, but I don't know. I can just get a powder or whatever, or maybe I'm just putting too much on, but color-wise, that's how I'm mixing them. So that's what I've been doing there. Then mascara I've mentioned this I think before is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes I'm still using the sample which I'm kind of like come on when is this gonna be done with but I bought two of the full-size ones when Ulta was having their 21 days of beauty it was ten dollars instead of 19 so I was like let me get that now I just don't like the packaging like I knew this was gonna be this way but I wasn't sure if maybe you could like take this off or something, but I don't think you can. Uh, kinda just wish it was like this. Just, you know, regular glossy packaging, but whatever, just kind of obnoxious. But I love what it does. I That's what I have on today. That's the only thing I have on my eyes, besides concealer under my eyes, but it's this mascara. And I really, really, really like it. No flaking, it lengthens no clumping. I mean, and I really only use one coat. I'm not a person that like puts multiple coats on. I've never found that to be good at all. When I do that, it just ends up being a big mistake. So then uh, Maybelline Baby Lips in, this is called Pink Punch. And this one is like the most pigmented I believe of all of them. I only have like two or three but 
that's what it looks like. It's so pretty and bright for spring and summer. It's like a hot pink lip. And it is a, I mean, it's not like scary, but all right, here, I'm just gonna do like one swipe. That's like with just one swipe, and this is built up a little bit, the one on top. But you can see even with just one or two, it's really nice. And these are moisturizing and I really like this just as an easy, especially when I'm only wearing mascara, just something easy to put on. So I've really, really been liking that. And then something recent that I bought but I wanted to include it because I feel like I'm going to be using it all summer is Nexus Frizz Defy Frizz Protection Styling Cream. I got it at Target and I think it was like under $5 could be wrong but um it has uh moroccan argan oil and coconut extract in it because recently in march when it was like a heat wave my hair was frizzing and i was in target and i was like you know what i need something for this frizz and if you see some of my videos you'll probably notice that sometimes my hair is like pin silky straight and other times it's like a frizzy mess or it'll be up and that's why because it's a frizzy mess now right now I don't know if you can tell but it's not pin straight and it's not a frizzy mess it's like in the middle I hope um I have like this random wave in my hair and it's frizzy it's not pin straight it just has a random wave this is what it looks like after I showered this morning and put this in it I don't use conditioner, which is probably bad, but whatever. So I put this in it, just a little, you know, drop. Brush my hair, and then I blow dry it, but not with any, like, round brush or anything. I just blow dry it, run my fingers through it, and then brush it again. And then this is what it looks like. So, I mean, there's a little frizz, but this product, I feel like, eliminates, like, 70 to 80% five percent of the frizz um it's great and then if i went ahead right after and straightened it i think it would not be as frizzy even still so it's just a matter of i need to straighten it i think so i really like it and i've used a different product from here actually i'm gonna go get it this is the product that i've used that i've had for a really long time and i used to use all the time though and it's also from Nexus. It's the um, Volumizing Leave-In Conditioner. And it looks like this. Basically, same type of idea, I think. Except it's... This is not a conditioner. But this... My hairstylist a long time ago, like years ago, used this on me, and she put it like in water too. She mixed it with water and then used it as a spray for my hair, and it would be good like as a detangler and stuff too. So I really like this line of products if you wanted to try that out. But this for frizz, and this is a good detangler too, like it helps with my hair. Um, I don't know, I'm just really liking this. So, not too many things. But I hope I gave you some ideas and showed you what I'm liking for March, what I've been using. And spring is basically here, so I'm pretty excited about that. And let me know what you've been liking, and thanks so much for watching.